Hi, this is Dreema. Today we are doing a client reading. And as always, I know the name of the client and they know their name. But I won't be saying it in the video. Now, today we're doing a 21 card past, present, and future spread. I've already laid the cards out. And that's because we're kind of I'm kind of short on time with my camera. It only records about 10 minutes and it stops. So I want to make sure I have enough time to explain all the cards in detail. Now, the way this works, the top seven cards of the past and the center is the present and the bottom is the future okay now before i begin i would like to apologize to um many of my clients just because um i've kind of been slow on the readings this week just over the past week just because i haven't been feeling well i've been ill so it's been really difficult for me to get um able to get them done um also I wanted to address a little bit about weekends and holidays now that those are coming up. Um, it is almost impossible for me to get a reading done on a weekend or a holiday just because of the the, the amount of people that are in my home. It makes it really difficult uh, when there's a lot going on for me to actually find some quiet time on the weekend or a holiday. So in most cases, I will only be doing readings Monday through Friday um, and not including holidays. Um, I do want to thank everyone for your understanding um, in this, these matters. And we're going to go ahead and start. Now, this reading will be done in two parts just because um, there's so many cards. But we're going to start up here at the top with the present. Okay, and we have the King of Swords and the Tower. So what that tells me is that in the past, there has been some sort of... Um, drastic change in a client's life. Um, now that change, what I'm getting is that it was from some sort of deception. And the King of Swords tells me that this was a very powerful and controlling type person. Um, whoever this person is or was in, in your past, um, it caused a lot of problems and a lot of chaos in your life. And I really am getting that there was some sort of deception going on too at one point. Okay, and then we have the Ace of Swords, okay, and the Seven of Rods. So what I'm getting from the Ace of Swords is that, to me, I, I really believe that you were triumphant um, over this problem in the past. You know, it's something that you were able to overcome, okay, um, and move on from, okay. It's still there in your past. But I do believe it was something that you were able to triumph, you know, over. And next we have the seven of wands. Now, or rods. What that tells me is that I'm not sure how well you can see, but the man is kind of pushing a rod down and they're all in the ground there. To me, what it tells me is that when you were triumphant over um, this in, in the past, okay, that... You know, it was something that did not come easy, okay? Um, to me, it, it it was more about something that you had to work very hard at, it, kind of like he's pushing that down. It's not something that came easy, okay? Um, but you were able to overcome this drastic change, the deception, and almost this overbearing person that was in your life. And then we have the Ace of Pentacles and the Hermit. Now, the Ace of Pentacles, what that tells me is that um, once you overcame that, there was some sort of uh, kind of a contentment, a stalemate that um, has did happen before in your life. Um, and because of, uh, of all this, I think, what happened is that you began to take your feelings and, and things and, you know, kind of pull them inwards and become like a solitude, not wanting to share those feelings and emotions with everyone quite so easily. So you've learned something um, from this past experience. Lastly, we have the hangman. Now, the hangman is in reverse. Now, whenever a card is in reverse, it does give it a completely different meaning. I think I've talked about that before, that when you turn this upside down, um, what I'm getting is that there was a time where you were very, um, you know, outgoing with your feelings because of what has happened in the past, um, on the surface, everything appears to be okay. Like the hangman, it kind of appears to be okay, but 
what's really happening is that this this contentment is kind of like false, if that makes sense. It's something you're not really sharing these feelings and thoughts with everyone. Okay. And this is the present. And then we have five of cups and it is in reverse and the five of pentacles. Now, the five of cups in reverse, just like before, whenever something is in reverse, it gives it a completely different meaning. Um, what I'm getting from this is that it looks to me like there may be some sort of news that you're getting now. Um, some sort of alliance that is developing with someone else, okay, in your, in your life. Now, I'm going to move to this one because this one is really interesting as it pertains to the present. This is the Five of Pentacles. And this involves two people, okay? Um, there are also some pentacles up here. This is a very cold card. These people actually look like they're very poor. Um, so what that tells me is that there's some sort of news and alliance that's going on. However, when I look at the Five of Pentacles, what that makes me believe is that what I'm getting is that there's someone else in your life, but what it's doing is it's causing some financial problems um, within your life, okay? And it looks like someone that's very committed to you and very close to you, okay, uh, is what I'm getting, okay? Next, we have the sun and the high priestess. Now, the sun is an interesting card in the present because, you know, we've just came out of, of this that kind of says there might be some news and alliance and possibly um, even some financial problems is kind of what I was getting from that. But the Sun card is kind of, it, it's, it's kind of opposite of the, the last card we just looked at. Um, the Sun card is a very positive card, okay? And it suggests hopes and dreams and, and things like that. Um, so, to me, it's about material happiness in some way and contentment. So what that tells me is that this financial problem that's going on, um, there's actually, right now what's going on is there's ways to resolve it that's going on within your life right now um, to bring you to a point of contentment. And I do believe it's going to have something to do with this alliance and this person that is in your life right now. Next, we have the High Priestess, okay? Now, this is an interesting card. It's a very powerful card. Okay, and this is a card to me about, you know, power and strength and, and wisdom, things like that. So what that tells me is that right now, um, because of the things that have happened to you in the past, um, you're very wise to what's going on. So that may be why there's a lot of hope and things look to be uh, getting a little better for you. Okay. Um, even though there is this alliance, I really feel that you may have some trust issues because of what's happened in the past. And because you're a strong person, you will overcome those. Okay. Next, we have the devil. Now, this is an interesting card because I'm not sure if you can see, but the two people on the bottom, um, they're kind of like chained there. <laughs> okay. Um, so what that tells me is that right now, what's going on with you? Um is that, you know, there's a lot of things that are going on in your life and almost, you know, it, I, I, what I'm getting is that you're wanting to break free, okay, from some sort of chain. And I'm, it may be this person that is in your life right now. You're wanting to break free, uh, possibly this cycle that started back in your past. Um, and that's kind of what I'm getting is because these people are chained that you're wanting to break free of that. And you really, I think you have the wisdom and the strength to do that. Okay. All right. We're going to pause the video right here. Um, and then we will pick up and do the last part of the reading in part two.